What did you do wrong the first time you had sex? I didn't know how blowjobs worked, so I just went off the name. I got down there, put my mouth over his dick and blew out as hard as I could. I'm glad I scrolled this far. My girl was laying down on her back on the bed and I was just about to come. I pulled out and moved up her body so my legs were strangled around her breasts, and my dick was by her face. While I was coming I was straining so hard I farted on her boobs. I was horrified and yet relieved at the same time. Very embarrassing though because not only did she hear it, she also felt the vibrations. Didn't realize her mum liked to check up on her. Caught me under the covers, head between her legs, died a little inside. She then left and we stupidly decided to carry on to do the deed. She came in again and caught me with her on top of me and proceeded to shout at the top of her lungs. I don't know WHO the f you think you are but if you're not out of my house in less than 30 seconds Katie's father will be in here having a strong f word with you. That walk downstairs and out the door was the most painful experience of my life. She asked me will you go down on me. I went down and proceeded to actually chew on her pubic hair. No idea what I was supposed to do. I refused to get on top because I was scared I wouldn't be able to find where to put my dick. She said she didn't like being on top so, in what might have been the dumbest power struggle of all time, we both refused to be on top and literally said fine then I guess we won't f We lay together on our sides in this incredibly stupid game of chicken for about 4 minutes before I put myself in her. That made me laugh. Was her belly button sore afterward? No, but her pee hole was. My first time was in a small bathroom on campus at the uber-fundamentalist Bob Jones University. Her, is this okay, me, thinking she was suffering from some fundy guilt and wanted reassurance of course. We're adults and this is our decision. I care about you very much and, her, no, I mean, does it feel good? Am I doing it right? Well the vagina was a lot closer to the asshole than I had originally thought. The first time I 69 ed it was in a dark room, and I remember squinting as hard as I could to see this mythical butthole. I had never actually seen another butthole before. Well according to her, not coming when she blew me. Trying to maintain the lie that I had been having sex for years. Ended up lying on my back while she pretty much had to put it in. We were both on mushrooms so it was pretty interesting. More like she was on your mushroom. Well, losing my virginity in a car behind a Piggly Wiggly was probably a mistake. Calling your partner Piggly Wiggly while you're behind them is mistake number two. Saying I loved her. Classic Schmosby. Didn't bring my rubber ducky and lost my erection halfway in. In porn the guy is doing his best to let the camera focus on the girl. For some reason I thought this was optimal so I had my arms at full extension the whole time and it wasn't fast like I was worried about. It lasted for a tad over an hour and I never came. The next day I couldn't move my arms. Not peeing right afterwards. Urinary tract infections are extremely painful literally the most painful thing I have ever endured so please remember to pee right after you have sex. Especially if you're a girl because you're more prone to infection than men. It's not 100% guaranteed to happen. But it's better to prevent it than endure it. Please trust OK sign. This. I was in agony a few days after. Crying while peeing. And my mom waited for me outside the bathroom door. She was like honey. Did you have sex? And I was like. How did you know? Then we went to the gyno for BC and antibiotics. And then out to a movie. My UTI ratted me out to my mom. But she saved the day. You have a cool mom. I was definitely so panicked about making sure the condom didn't break or fall off that I didn't realize he'd started until it was over. I also threw up afterwards and took three pregnancy tests the next day. She's like. Did you come inside? I'm like. I don't know what is that. And this is why they teach sex ed in the fourth grade now. Everyone is saying they came super fast. I didn't at all. My penis just decided nope not today. I got hard. Then it was like an hour later and we were really cold and decided just to go home. The reason we were cold was because I was 15 and we snuck out to do it in a park at like 3 am after talking to her on MSN Messenger for like a month. It was the first time I met her. And by park I mean a Catholic girls school. Everyone knows the best place to pork is in a Catholic girls school at 3 am. It was the first time for both of us. Had sex in her parents bedroom over Memorial Day weekend they were out of town. Super awkward and for some reason she wanted to watch the movie 9 months as we were preparing. Went for a while. 
she then quickly and unexpectedly reached a very fake orgasm. She ran to the bathroom and said well, that's weird, I just got my period. Two virgins. Little to no foreplay. Tears were shed. Were tears really all that was shed? Also shed his reptilian skin, but that's not relevant. I never thought to take my boxers off. Just used the hole in the front like I do when I urinate. Can we turn off this R&B music? I kind of want to hear you breathing. Okay. Do you wanna take off your pajama bottoms? No. Actually I'd feel more comfortable if I just pulled my penis through the hole. We had made our way out onto the balcony for some reason, and with an overly powerful thrust I sent her forehead straight into the metal railing. Didn't wear a condom and came all over my back seat, which stained it heavily. There was always a battle between my friends on who had to sit in the back left seat. I had a buddy in high school who had love stains on the back seat, in a bright yellow PT cruiser no less. You are making that up. Nobody can get laid in a PT cruiser, much less a yellow one. So, less what I did wrong than what went wrong. Things were okay enough, but he didn't orgasm nerves. Presumably, he then told me it didn't count because he didn't come. Do not ever, ever tell the person whose virginity you took that it didn't count. In my bliss I accidentally drooled on her face. Yup drool. I could only imagine the regret she must have felt at that moment. I sat up and heard him yell you're bending it. I was trying to be sexy. Worried too much about whether or not I was doing it right instead of just being there in the moment and enjoying it. We were both virgins and I ate her out after we had sex. It was dark and I didn't realize that there would be blood from her hymen. I went to the bathroom after and it looked like I won a hands-free cherry pie eating contest. Actually trying to make a conversation. Cold weather we're having this February. No. Hey. Changing topics, would you mind propping your foot up on my shoulder? her. Do you just wanna try the tip? Me. Okay. That feels awesome. Goes back to foreplay. Her. You think you wanna feel it again? Me. No. I got a really good feel last time. Her. Laugh I want to have sex. Me. Oh. You know how you're supposed to pinch the end of the condom when you put it on? Well I didn't know that. Put that bad boy on all the way. Had my dick halfway in when I heard a loud pop. I thought that meant I had literally popped her cherry. Oh man. Good times. Meanwhile she's thinking you just bust a nut. I didn't use a condom because I really wanted to feel what natural sex felt like the first time. I zipped through foreplay. When I was eating her out I didn't know to focus on the clit so I'm sure it was pretty terrible. Otherwise, I'm guessing it was average. Finger blasting her flesh sock because that's all you know. Got my legs stuck in between a bed and wall. Kept going and ended up with a sprained ankle. Gotta risk it to get the biscuit. I didn't realize how the foreskin worked. I tried to give a hand job to a guy and pulled it all the way back with one hand then started dry thrusting it with my other. The guy took my hand away and showed me how it's done. And I went right back to doing what I was doing before. I ended up giving up after 10 minutes because he didn't seem to like it and I'm pretty sure I gave him a Chinese burn on his dick. Can I just ask what went through your head when you disregarded what he showed you and went back to doing it the scary way? Pretty sure mine would be not making enough noise. I was just this heavy breathing rock. At least you weren't a silent rock. Heavy breathing is at least some noise. Next time when you have sex, bring a medium sized rock with you and place it next to her to see if you are being too quiet. If you can hear the rock, you should be making some more noise. Oh, and if the rock starts getting louder, it means it's trying to assert its dominance in the bedroom and steal your mate. The little brother walked in on us. Condom fell off. I finally came after the most painful head I ever received. 0 out of 10 would never have sex for the first time again. What if I can promise that you will never have sex for the first time ever again? As a Virginia, I asked him if he was in. Please don't edit this. Did it in the hotel bedroom at a sci-fi convention wherein several of our roommates were trying to sleep at the time. Apparently some of them were awoken by the noise even though we were trying to be very quiet. In retrospect we probably should have waited until we were alone. OMG Bruce are you having sex in here? No we're practicing our Chewbacca noises. 